Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on Rhino 7 and how you can create your own uh, pawn chess piece. First, to start, we're going to open up Rhino 7. And now Rhino has this templates here, so you could specify which, uh, which whether you're going to do your object in feet, whether you're going to do the part in uh, inches. This one's going to be inches small. So we'll go ahead and click there. We want to go ahead and click, make sure you're on the viewport layout tab. You want to go ahead and click this colorful icon here. This is the add picture to plane. Go ahead and double click. Now you have to click in a spot and drag to the lower right to specify your size. And then click when you're done. So we'll go ahead and center that. Now I'm going to go ahead up here, maximize the plane. Let's go ahead and turn off this grid snap down here and we'll just kind of line this up on the green line. Now we'll turn on grid snap back on. I like to have end point, near point, and center point. So we're going to start drawing this pond here with a circle. Okay, now I'm going to go over here with this ellipse tool. We're going to go from center. I'm going to drag out here. I'm going to create an ellipse. And I'm going to go ahead and get the um, polygon line. Go from the center. Hold down the shift key. That always constrains the line. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the rectangle tool again. And we'll come up here to the prompt. It says first corner of rectangle. You could say center. So specify that. So now it's going to come from the center of here over. So we'll go ahead and um, click there, enter. All right, now we're going to get our pointer tool. We're going to click on the graphic and get rid of it. We have enough stuff. We don't need, need it anymore. So we'll go ahead and get our uh, corner point curve. Going to come from come from here. Click. Actually, I didn't want to do that. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. Sometimes you got to turn off some of these snaps because they get in the way of things. So we'll go ahead and get the our corner tool. It's okay if you go through an object, that's fine. Enter. You're gonna all this stuff's gonna be trimmed anyways. Go ahead and get our rectangle tool. We're gonna say from center. I'm gonna put a little groove right here. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, drag a marquee around all this stuff. Select it. We're gonna say trim. Drag the marquee. Oops. Right mouse click. I think I did that wrong. Hold on. Hit trim again. Enter. Select objects to trim. Drag a marquee. Right mouse click. And I'll just start deleting stuff that we don't need. Okay, that's good there. Good there. All right, so we'll go ahead and click on our pointer tool. We're going to go ahead and get the polyline, and we're going to create a line from. Uh, now this is handy if you put the center back on, because then it'll come. Or actually, take that off mid. We're going to go from midpoint to there. Hit enter. Now we want to go trim again, TRIM, enter, drag a marquee around everything, right mouse click button, and just start trimming this stuff. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can do the fillet. The fillet is going to be 
change the radius to 0.125, enter. And we'll go ahead and click here. Okay, so you click two points to specify a fillet. Um, so we can do the same. Let's do that down here. So we'll go right mouse click to start the command over again. Then we'll go one, two, right mouse click, one, two. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and revolve this. So we'll go ahead and um, say revolve. We're going to select all the curves. We're going to right mouse click. And now it says start of revolve access. We want to know where it's revolving from. So here to the top. And you want to hit enter, enter. Okay, that's going to be our, um, our pond. Now we can go ahead and um, go back to the uh, maximum viewport. Go ahead and spin. Now we're going to go change the view up here to rendered. Okay, this is going to be our part right here. Now with this materials tab open, and if it's not open, you just want to come over here to your panels and make sure that there's a check next to it. But ours is already open, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll go ahead and click. You want to say import from material library. Import the material that you want it to be. I'm going to make this metal. I'm going to make it a satin. And I'll make it a berry. I'll make it a blue, anodized blue. So we'll go ahead and click over here. And we'll make this... Click and drag on top of the material. Sometimes you have to click inside a, inside here before it will let you drag the material over. Like right now, I got to click there a couple times. Click there. Click there. All right, this is going to be our, our little uh, pawn chest piece. Now what you can do now is go back here to your to your viewports and do a restore to full size. Go ahead and do a select all. You could go scale. And then you want to click once, click twice, and then just kind of pull the part up. Click off of it. Now we can go... Um, Move the part around. We can go select all and then just move this up a little bit. Okay, so that's going to be our pond. Um, if you want to take a picture of this, uh, you, a simple way to do that. There's a way in, within the program, but I find it easier just to do uh, the um, Windows icon or Windows logo, Shift plus S. And then it lets you specify where you want the picture to be. Go ahead and take a picture. It actually snaps a, a picture to your clipboard. Then you can come down here, open up Paint, Control-V, paste it in. You can crop it. And then you could just save this file out as a JPEG file and change from PNG to JPEG and just say Pond. On piece, save it to the desktop. Okay, um, that's going to end today's tutorial. If you found anything useful out of this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you for watching.